Now it is estimated over a million people will be going into negative equity and over 45,000 homes will be repossessed this year, effectively throwing families out onto the street. Kate Faulkner, a property expert, is here with us to explain about negative equity and repossession. So Kate, what is negative equity? Well, negative equity happens when you've bought a property. So, for example, if you go out and buy a property and it costs £110,000, you probably put 10000 of your own money into that, but you'd borrow the rest, and that you'd do via a mortgage, which would be £100,000. Now, say a few years later you wanted to sell the property, if prices had gone down, your property might only be worth £90,000. Now, you've borrowed a hundred. It's only worth 90, and negative equity is the difference. So in our case, it's £10,000. And a lot of people um, worry, and we certainly see all these statistics, and a million people in negative equity sounds really scary. But in actual fact, negative equity is only a problem if you can't afford your mortgage payments and you have to sell. So a million people in negative equity is not an issue at all. It's only the small number of people that have to sell where negative equity is actually a problem. So in the main, as long as you can pay your mortgage payments, you shouldn't have to worry about negative equity. And what is repossession? Repossession is quite a lot more serious than that. And it normally happens when you've borrowed money uh, for a mortgage to buy a property and you can't actually afford to pay the lender back. And certainly even if you miss a few payments, what you will happen is when you have a mortgage, you'll effectively have signed a contract to say that you will pay them this amount of money every month and if you don't, they have a right to take that property back. In other words, they will repossess it so that they can sell that property on and they can actually recoup, hopefully, the money that they've originally lent you. And the process that the mortgage lender goes through to repossess your home, how do they go about all that? Well, it depends on the different mortgage lenders, but typically, if, say, for example, you had missed a couple of mortgage payments and you hadn't spoken to them about it, you will start getting some very nasty letters very quickly and you'll get them very frequently from your mortgage lender. Um, if nothing happens after that, if you still can't pay your mortgage, um, if the mortgage company doesn't think you can continue to pay, um, make the payments to them, then what they will do is they will instruct a solicitor and they will actually go to your local county court to say, we're repossessing this pro property, get the approval, and once they've done that, there's nothing you can do. They will actually physically then kick you out onto the streets. And is it possible to stop this process from happening? There's actually lots of ways of stopping repossession. The first thing you should do is ideally talk to your mortgage lender before you miss a payment. So if it is October and you know you can't make the next payment, for goodness sake, have a meeting with them, explain what the problem is, explain whether you think it's a long-term or a short-term problem, and try and come to some sort of solution. Because ideally, they would really want you to stay in that home and to pay the money back eventually. Now, one of the things that you might be able to do, for example, is lower the mortgage repayments. So when you take out a mortgage, it's usually for 25 years. But you might have paid off the mortgage for five years, so you only have 20 years left. And what you could say to the lender is, well, why don't you extend it to 30 years? And that might reduce your mortgage payments down enough so that you can actually afford them. And then everybody's happy. Um, another way you can do it is sometimes you can't afford the mortgage because it was £500 a month and now it's gone up to £700 because there's a change in the rates. If that's the case, you should always go to see another mortgage lender to see if there is something that they could do for you which would bring your payments back down nearer to that £500. Now, if you can't do any of those things, they don't work for you, ideally what you want to do is bring in some extra income. A real easy way of doing that is if you've got a two-bed property, for example, and you only use one of the bedrooms, if you rent out the other room to somebody in your main home, you can collect £4,250 per year completely tax-free. Now, that might mean that you can, your mortgage worries are over, you can make your repayments and you can stay in your home and you only have to do it until you're back on your feet again. Um, another way of doing it is um, you could get a second job. Now, it doesn't have to be something miserable. Um, you might like going out to the pub, so why not go the other side of the bar and be paid to actually go out for the night? Always good funding, something like that. So really think about it. There might be another way of bringing in extra money. If those options don't work for you, um, other things that you could do is you could even move out, stay with friends and rent the whole property out and see if that would help you. Um, make the mortgage pay repayments. Now the worst thing you can do is you do have to sell your home. Don't go to one of these um, companies that does uh, buys it for quick cash. There are some real cowboys out there 
and um, they will pay you 30% less than what it's really worth. You're much better off talking to an estate agent, particularly who has a surveying practice. They'll value your property accurately and you might have to sell it for 10 or 15% less, but not the kind of 30% less than these guys do. So lots of ways out of repossession. Start them early and, you know, really just make sure that you do everything you can to pay that mortgage off. And are there any other organisations that could help with this matter? Yeah, and the beauty is, is they're free. So you will be worrying yourself sick if, you, if you're under repossession or it's likely to happen. There's no reason to. There is so much help out there. It, it's unbelievable and it's all free. So the first place you can go to is Citizens Advice Bureau. We've all heard about it. Go and talk to them. They really know how to help you. And the second um, organisation is actually funded by the government um, and that's called the National Debt Line. All free, all experts, and they can really, really save you sleepless nights and actually make sure that you can stay in your home. Thank you very much for that, Kate. Thank you. You're welcome.